Well, what was the last week like for you? I asked Greg Rollo, what's new with him? What was new with you? Well, obviously lots was going on and uh, Nashville had some emergency situations that Scott and I had to take care of. And uh, so we went to Nashville thinking we were going to be helping and assisting. And then uh, the last man standing went down, Dan, and then we had to step up and run the bench. So uh, fun experience, obviously. It was a, uh, we won both games, so that made it a little more enjoyable. Uh, but, uh, you know, in the long run, we want full-time NHL jobs. That's, that's what we want. This is a short-term thing, and it was really enjoyable to get a snapshot. But, you know, our goal as a staff is to try to get, secure a full-time job at that level. We feel we can do it. Uh, but it was a lot of fun to go and experience what we did. You have, to, you have to take your own advice. When players get called up, you say, listen, you were called up for a reason. You have to do the job the way you've been doing it here. That's kind of the same thing for you, a coach, too. Yeah, for me, I learned a lot. And then, you know, getting called off the plane, sent down. <laughs> that was, uh, we can get that later, but that was a new experience, too. So uh, uh, I do have a new lo outlook on how that feels. And then going right into a game and, and having to operate and perform under those circumstances. It's just, you're so dialed in on focusing on Nashville and what we were trying to do there. Um, we were still focusing on Milwaukee, but in trying to assist Greg, but also stay out of the way because he was going to do a great job and we knew that. So, um, you know, sometimes you got to listen to your own advice. Those are hard days some days because you don't really want to, but uh, you're absolutely correct with that. When you get up there and you have to, you're, it's a blessing to get to the game, I guess. Let's quit thinking about it. Let's just get back to the routine, something we know what to do. Yeah, so their staff was very involved in everything, and, and uh, we deliver, We told them, I told John, I said, once the game starts, uh, we're going to do what we do, and uh, we'll take suggestions in between periods, uh, whatever you guys have, but we're going to operate how we operate, and because uh, you, you have to be yourself. You have to be comfortable, and I don't know if you ever try to run someone else's drill in a hockey practice, it's difficult. If you ever try to uh, uh, present someone else's paper, someone else's speech, it just doesn't feel comfortable. And so I think that's the only way to go about it. Uh, there's lots of meetings, lots of discussions. What do we need to do? What are we presenting? What are we taking away from different situations? And we were just there as caretakers, obviously. They have a coaching staff. And we just wanted to try to keep things going in the right direction and tweak when we needed to. And to help do that, you run basically the same systems. Uh, you and John Hines, you have very similar styles, uh, like-minded on a lot of situations. Yeah, as far as the systems, we, we do think very uh, similar along those lines, but when we process and go through, everyone has their own little ways of doing things and what are critical moments for them and what, what they really focus on. Uh, but there's system-wise, it was very smooth. Um, we didn't change the drills for pregame skates. We wanted to make it as seamless as possible for the players because in the end, it's uh, our job was to help the players perform and continue doing what they were doing uh, without changing the direction. Uh, obviously, they're on a five-game heater, and so we wanted to make sure the players got what they needed. We helped the players that were called up, and we tried to present in a manner that allowed them to perform at the highest level possible. And now it's a seven-game heater, by the way. Uh, I'm curious, you, well over 1,000 games for you before coaching in the National Hockey League. Scott Ford, same thing, well over 1,000 games before getting his chance. How special is it for the two of you to share that experience after four years here in Milwaukee together? Yeah, you know what, we've grown close and uh, Greg is a big part of what we do too. So obviously he had to stay here and, and run our team, but uh, it was very enjoyable to be able to share it and uh, uh, experience it together. Um, again, like we want full-time jobs. That's what we're trying to get, uh, but we really enjoyed the experience. And you come, when you go through the process, I've coached, I don't know, whatever, 20 odd years and uh, and having our players be on the roster as well made it very comfortable. It seemed very seamless. There wasn't like a lot of nerves or a lot of uh, concerns about how are we going to do a good job? Are we going to be able to have, like, we're ready. Like, it's just a matter of finding the right opportunity right now. And that's not to sound uh, ahead of myself, but it's just time. Sometimes you feel and you're, you're, you're prepared for the opportunity and it goes seamless. And it just, that's the way it occurred. And, but Scott and I did have a few moments together. We did fist bump after the anthem in Chicago. That was enjoyable, and that's a special moment too. So Let's uh, finish up with how things are going with Milwaukee. Unfortunately, one point on the weekend against Chicago, uh, but playing well, and now two big games, obviously, before the holiday break. Yeah, we weren't happy with the game on Saturday. Uh, you know, it was, it was a crazy day with everything that was going on, uh, but we didn't like how we handled the game. And, uh, you know, for us, we, we, we got to stay out of the penalty box, like 24 power plays against in three games is not a formula for success. We got three points out of six. It's, it's a miracle that we did that even, having to take those penalties. And 
you know, we play a hard, heavy style, and the league has changed, and the calls are going differently. We need to adjust as a group. Uh, so that's something we really focused on today. We hopefully see that moving forward, that we're changing that situation. We've got to win some power play battles in the game or else we're going to be chasing the game a long time. And we'd like to play four lines, and you're not able to. So our team's moving in the right direction. There's no question the last 10, 15 games it's much improved. We're going in the right way. We need to. It's a long road we're hoeing right now, but we can definitely focus on where we're going, and we're excited about the process of getting there.